so exciting. This is just the most exciting part of my day. Forget about riding horses. This is it. This is... Yeah. Okay. Well, believe it or not, it's actually raining. I can't... Uh, I can't even remember the last time it rained. So, I've got the GoPro this time because it's waterproof. Uh, I thought I would... I thought I would talk about... <laughs> you two look adorable. Look at these two adorable looking horses. Oh, they're moving now. That's what happens. See, they just hang... They got, they got all this space here. All of this space. And this is where they chill out, together. So we got some hay over there. And that one. A little bit left over there, this one's empty. So, what's Piggy doing? Why, well, she got her ears back. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, uh, let's go this way. Whew. Everything's coming around. It's been busy. Got a pretty busy couple of days it happened. We're back on track 100%, but um, it's been so dry, I haven't been able to mess with the arena much. I don't have sprinkler systems. Like, well, I mean, I have sprinklers, but like normal sprinklers I have. Oh, shoot, you know, like something like, like this thing. But, uh, not a system that kind of goes out over top of the uh, arena. It's a big arena, so you got to have some serious money to sort of put that together or You know good at that kind of thing where you can do it yourself So I don't have that. I haven't really had a big need for it. We don't get what we got Which was a major amount of Sun for such a long time So the sand has been super duper dry and it probably still is here. We'll check this out. We just come in here. It's been raining for a couple hours, I guess. Not too hard. But if I just sort of do that, you can see that it doesn't take much to get down to the dry stuff. You know, it's, uh, it's not, not deep at all. In fact, I mean, anywhere you kind of look underneath the tree here, it's still dry. And the thing about it being so dry is it's so dusty. So horses come out and they run around, it's pretty dusty. But the problem is, is that I can't harrow it. Um, and I've talked about harrowing before, I'll see if I can find the video and link it below, but taking care of your arena if you've got one, <clears throat> or if you plan on building one, is really, really important. Because it gets really lumpy and if it rains enough, water starts to pool uh, and it doesn't go off properly. So. The other thing we got to take care of, because we live in a forest here, trees like this and trees like that, um, end up dropping a lot of leaves all over the place. And this organic material that inevitably makes it into outdoor arenas, you can't really help it that much. I mean, it's hard to get away from it. Um, because horses will go poop and stuff like that in the arena and then you're you know, you're trying to rake it out and you can't. Um, it's not bad up this way though. The, the, there's not a lot of wind. Sometimes when it's when it's really bad, when the cedar tree drops all of its, what do they call them? Needles? They're not needles. Foliage. You know, in these, uh, these cottonwoods, they drop a lot of leaves out. Okay, it's getting pretty wet out. The camera's getting kind of soaked, but it is a GoPro. And uh, so it, inevitably, the poop and the leaves and the, the stuff that blows in uh, gathers and stuff, but so you can't get it all, but it's important to get some of it. And so what we're gonna do first, or I'm gonna do, is uh, get rid of the leaves in the back, and then we're gonna harrow this thing, rake down the high spots and build up low spots. And uh, what that'll do, especially now that it's I mean, it's essentially like I've had a sprinkler out here. And i got to clean this thing up. It fell over. So I'll clean that up. 
get this mat out of here, move the barrels. Let's get started. And then we'll get it all nice and even. The point being, the point of all this is so that when it does rain, it doesn't pool. It, uh, it, it is a, a graded arena, so the water will kind of wash off nicer. It'll dry faster. It's actually really the point of it. And then of course when you're riding and stuff, when you're using the arena, the horses will stumble a little less because there'll be less sort of little potholes and stuff like that that's going on. So, a uh, real quick tip there for if you've got your own arena. I'm going to get on with this and uh, we'll be back. Make sure we've got enough gas. It's, it always sucks when you're running out part way through a job. pretty good now that's that done I mean it's pretty good the hardest part of doing this job is the fact that their trees are constantly putting out more leaves so I'm gonna clear out this arena and uh, next step will be to sort of rake in the sides a little bit not much just get it kind of even and then we'll start harrowing Okay, the arena is clear. I'm trying to rake the edges a little bit, and I'll show you why real quickly. But uh, see, the horses come charging up to the fences and stuff, and they'll they'll do stuff like this where they'll take the sand over right over the edge of the bottom board. So we got to rake those bits back a little. See, most of it's pretty good. That's next. That's a lot of work, but it's done. Um, I, I think the, the last little tip I would put into this part of it is make sure you know your arena. Uh, I mean, if, if you've got an arena that's just plain flat and you've had it done 
professionally most likely it's not going to uh, sink or um, I don't know I think that even even if done totally professionally and this one was done really well there's still going to be little spots that will kind of be down or on an angle <clears throat> um, certain areas that may sort of fill in a little bit it's inevitable earth shifts land moves but um, so know where your your points of of uh, drain are if you've got drainage underneath i don't because this this arena is so so graded downwards the water just kind of goes that way but it goes over into that corner so there's actually quite a bit of extra sand back there and i'll have to dig that out soon i don't know when not right now i'm um, hot and kind of it's been raining i haven't been able to wear my hat because of the ear protection but uh i didn't put it back on so okay well now it's time to harrow this thing um what we're looking to do is we're trying to get rid of these little bumps these high spots and uh, sort of a low spot it's hard to tell on the camera i'm sure of it but you can kind of see maybe if i come down low there's going to be high spots and low spots um this arena has a bit of a crown to it as well in the middle that was by design so that the water will go to either side Unfortunately, it goes to that side a little too much, drag sand with it. So, whatever. Okay, let's harrow. Okay, we're set up. Now for, uh, it's gonna close this gate. For harrowing, uh, I've got two vehicles, or I have two vehicles. This thing, which uh, came with the property, it's kind of nice. It's just a little tractor. Vanguards, I don't know, who cares? But um, it's a nice little thing, it just pulls along. Uh, what I've got is a homemade sort of harrow. And it's got some chain link fence with some chain on top to give it some weight. I've got a big piece of wood with uh, anchors on the front to uh, keep that uh, keep that onto there. I've sandwiched a board in between, or sandwiched the chain link in between two boards, bolted it all through, and those bolts that are here actually go all the way through so it sort of does a bit of a raking effect but then a settling effect and honestly it's the best day for it I'm gonna use a little tractor first because I can get to the edges a bit better and then we'll probably grab the gator we'll see I might just use this
good. It wasn't too dusty, or it wasn't dusty at all, except for sort of underneath the cedar tree. But uh, it's done for now. Um, let's just jump down. I'll show you, it's just, it's nice and flat now. And this is sort of the, what you want, where you get, you know, no lumps, no bumps. Um, and, you know, water can, water can sort of flow a little bit nicer or sort of sink into this more fluffed up material because it's not tamped down per se. So, yeah, I did the whole thing with the tractor. I'm kind of surprised. Usually I take out the gator. Uh, but it looks good. So taking care of an arena, so important. You really, really, really need to maintain these things. And, uh, you know, a lot of the leaves are out, but of course the trees just keep dropping leaves because they're getting heavier because of the rain. And so I hope that's been a little bit interesting. Uh, Maintenance-wise, there's lots to do. But this one was sort of weather dependent. And you're going to have these cases if you plan on making your own place where you'll have to wait on rain or wait for rain to stop. Um, if it gets too wet, it's very difficult to harrow because um, the sand just sort of catches and the friction keeps the, uh, keeps the harrow part sort of dragging too much and becomes pretty inefficient. A waste of time. So you gotta wait for it to dry out a little. So. Yeah, anyways, hope that's been interesting and um, thanks for watching this far. Uh, I've got lots more coming up. Just trying to take things one at a time. Next up, maybe some horsey stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, see you guys real soon.